Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about the RoboCoop MP450 Turbo and uh, it's going to be a video that is not like any other on the internet right now. I've been totally frustrated trying to uh, repair it, looking for videos, looking for manuals, cannot find anything. The stuff that I find is just basic operation. Even when you type in service, there's not much on service. So. Uh, through frustration, uh, I thought I'd uh, publish something that, that I've been wanting to find. So uh, to start off, we need uh, some basic tools. And this is a metric one, so this is 1.5, okay? Uh, next thing you're going to need is a screwdriver, a small one, and you need a flat end. I would... Uh, say don't go too big on it because it's going to definitely uh, not work for you the next one is is called the torx bit see the star it could have a hole or not it doesn't really matter because we're not using the security things but it does use this size and it's a t20 see t20 okay and uh those are the three basic tools that we're going to use right now and um, let's get started. And before I start, I forgot to mention one more tool, and that is an X-Acto knife. Yeah, you can use a regular blade in your hand, but you're more likely gonna cut yourself. And I'll show you what this is gonna be for, how you'll use these. But for now, let's get started. Okay, so here's a RoboCoop uh, MP450 Turbo. And as you can see, there's no screws or nuts anywhere. The thing is very well sealed. This thing is like a puzzle. And uh, you're really gonna spend a lot of time, unless you watch this video, and learn through the frustrations that I got. So this is where I wanna start off, and this is where this little screwdriver comes in handy. And you just, like that, see just a little bit of pressure pushing downwards, it comes right off. And here's the, uh, Here's the Torx, video, the Torx screws right there, okay? Same thing over here. Just push down a little bit, comes right off. Oops, move the camera. Okay, so um, now um, I've already uh, loosened this up to speed up the video. So the uh, Torx, of course, when, when you first start, it's going to be very tight. And, of course, you know, you, uh, for the people out there that don't service stuff, you, you always turn counterclockwise. What does that mean? Okay, well, clock turns like this. So you're going to turn it counterclockwise to loosen, clockwise to tighten. And you always do it like this because this has got the most torque. Yeah, you could do it like this, but that's after the torque. And one of the problems is this is not long enough. So you see that? See that right there? You're not going to so you're not going to be able to do it. So the, really, the only way to do it, and you want to start down here because we're going counterclockwise, and you go in there, right? Okay. Put one finger, put that finger there to support it, and like that. But it's going to be tighter. Again, I just did that to speed it up. Once you break the tightness on this one and this one, then what you can do is uh, this is going to make it easier. You get this little screwdriver, and it just comes out. See that? And it's, there you go. See how it moved, it loosened, so that means it's out. Then the next thing you would go is up here. And again, this has already been loosened, just to speed up the video. Okay, see how it loosened up again? So that should just come right out, there you go. And one thing you want to remember as you're doing this is don't just uh, throw things around because you're going to lose it. Have either a, an old plate, a bowl, a box, a bag, anything. Somewhere to put your stuff that you know you're not going to accidentally bump into it, knock it over, and lose it. Or if you walk away from it and go do something else, you're going to forget what went in there and you're going to be trying to find it. And so, So here we go right there. All right, so 
that's how you uh, take the assembly part and when you do that it loosens this part up the bottom okay now you notice on the bottom see that right there look this is not gonna work not a lot of room here okay uh, so if you look at it you see the distance between these two and then how close these are right here and then if you look inside of here um, gonna need a flashlight these moon LEDs are just super strong see that little and right there the little nib well, there's two of them okay and then if you look at if you look at the shaft on this you can see it's got flat spots it's got two flat spots okay see that see the flat spot and the flat spot okay that's where we're gonna put our uh, that's where we're gonna put our uh, crescent on there to hold it when we're disassembling a little bit but this is gonna line up with that when you line up these holes right here with these holes so if you see how that again is closer and then how that's farther the other one okay so that shows you how to mount that the shaft to that so let's get that out of the way and, and then if we come over here this is where the this is where the blade is on this burr mixer okay and now what you do is you turn it turn it uh, clockwise and see see how that broke off like that and then just comes right off now if you look at right here look inside of there you see that right there let me get that it's hard I don't have a third hand so <laughs> All right, here we go right there see that and it's not anywhere else okay it's just there now that little nib right there is gonna go right on there see like that it's gonna slide up and then it's gonna slide over so that's why you push up and when you do that nib's gonna line up so you're gonna look right here okay here it is right here you're gonna put that like that then you're gonna right on that flat spot you're gonna push up and you just turn and there you go uh, you probably didn't see that let's see all right so you go like this and just like that all right and so let's let's take this piece and uh, if you're not careful like I was I uh, didn't realize it when I first did it I'm gonna have to do that when I'll show you how is uh, there's a ground connection right here and that wire will come right off so as you're doing it, you're starting to take it apart. You've got to be kind of careful and not do what I did and take a screwdriver. Take that off, uh, put that, and then take that ground wire, put it off to the side. And normally when you take screws out like this, the best thing to do is put them right back in. So, and that's, that's what I like to do. Some people like pans. I like to stick them back in. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just putting enough to not lose it. And I'm going to put that back on. Okay. 